Oh, lane four, Carlos Brown uh, from the Bahamas, lane five. Set. Albert Nisbet, St. Kitts and Nevis, lane six. Yeah, they had gotten into their set positions. Nori Robinson of Bermuda goes in seven, and Nazario Gomes of Anguilla is in lane eight. Ethan Sam, double medalist at the Curfta Games last year in Bahamas for Grenada, didn't contest the 100 meters here, doing just the 200. Carlos Brown of the Bahamas finished down the field, sixth in the 100 final last night. As we look at Aldred Nisbet of St. Kitts and Nevis, no Carlos Brown from the Bahamas. He doesn't turn up for the 200 meters. He would have been bitterly disappointed knowing him not being able to serious the challenge for a 100 medal. And here's a disqualification for Curacao's Joshua Riviere, 21-46 man fastest in the field he's been disqualified and he doesn't understand why would love to get another look at that and so the second fastest man in this heat not showing up for the race and the fastest man facing disqualification and here's a look at it he does go there don't know what he may have heard, don't know what he may have felt, but... He is suggesting that he probably heard something. Well, he is protesting his case, as we saw with the Jamaican in the 400 final for under 20 boys last night. Once the officials make up their mind, there's no going back. Let's see if he'll have better luck. Chief starter Ludla Watts now goes across to have a word with him. And I don't think Mr. Watts is having any of it. Certainly from our vantage point, it's looks fairly cut and dry the everyone was in the set position he left and it wasn't even one of those cases ricardo where one person leaves marginally and then everybody else kind of follows he just went out the blocks all on his own so it was pretty evident disappointing for Curacao's Joshua Riviere. Well, Curacao have brought a pretty decent cadre of sprinters, and I suspect they should have a decent 4x100 boys on the 20 team. Riviere should be pretty fresh for that later on today. And amped up. Yes. <laughs> Clears the way for Ethan Sam. Of Grenada goes in lane number three, the 17 year old. Set. Off they go. Top four, sure to be in the semi final. And there are five of them in this first heat. Nisbet of St. Kitts and Nevis has run a really good curve. Sam tries to step forward. Nisbet in charge. Robinson of Bermuda finishing well. Robinson of Bermuda comes through into second behind Nisbet of St. Kitts and Nevis with Sam well down in third for Grenada. But a very good performance coming from this young man, Aldred Nisbet of St. Kitts and Nevis. 21.98, the official winning time. Don't think it's going to be the fastest heat that we'll see by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, fairly straightforward qualification for the young man there. Straightforward qualification for most of the competitors in this field because top four advancing will have 24 for the semi final round. And this bit running a solid curve and then holding on down the home stretch. No one really threatening that first place position with the Bermudian coming through late. 
to take second position. Theodore and Sam almost having a conversation out there in lanes two and three. They would know each other as well from the Windward Islands of school games. Here's confirmation. Negative 1.6 meters per second. The wind speed 21.98 for Nisbet, 22.24 for Robinson, 22.43 for Sam. And Theodore of St. Lucia gets through a 22.43. Nazaria Gums of Anguilla will have to wait and see if his 22.72 is good enough to be among the four next best times. <laughs> 